let's discuss XPS. XPS stands for X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. In this characterization technique, we basically bombard X-ray on a material surface and we eject electrons. So those ejected electrons are called photoelectrons because the electron are ejected due to photon. And the word spectroscopy means whenever electromagnetic radiation interact with the material, so we get spectrum or we get graph. So that particular field, when electromagnetic radiation is interacting with a material, so that field we call spectroscopy. We get a graph and the graph is basically the relation between the binding energy and the number of electrons detected. This vertical is basically the intensity, mean the number of electrons detected. So if we eject more number of electrons, we will get uh, more uh, counting here and we will get high peak here. So we understood. If we get low peak here, this means that the number of ejected electrons are less. If you get higher peak, means the number of ejected electrons are higher. These two electrons are closely bound to a nucleus, so it will have higher binding energy because it is closely bound as compared to the other. These core electrons are represented by 1 is 2. The rest, the 8 electrons are represented by 2 subshell. One is the 2 is 2, one is 2 p2, p6. This is also considered the core electrons. And the 3 s1 is basically the outer shell and it is uh, located uh, very sparsely. So just when you bombard here the x-ray, so the core electron will get more chance in order to eject, right? So this was the basic information and about the XPS. Now let's go into uh, detail, right? And we will now discuss about the uh, main detail of the ED XPS that how it works, right? We know from the word XPS that it is basically a surface sensitive technique. If we keep few layers of uh, the atoms, for example, if you are talking about the sodium and one layer of sodium, two layer and three layer, it will maximum goes to uh, 5 nanometer or hardly 10 nanometer. It cannot go uh, below that depth, right? XPS. This is surface sensitive technique. When it is surfaces, surface uh, sensitive technique, so this means it is a standard tool for surface material characterizations. If somebody asks me that why you are interested in surface uh, analysis and why you are so, the material surface is the main point of interaction with the environment and with the foreign materials. Because when you are dealing the surface, so surface is more exposed to the environment in foreign materials. So studying surface property is very, very crucial very very crucial this is why we need xps right where we need xps in catalysis catalysis basically doing reactions so reaction occurring at the surfaces not inside when you want to put something in another thing so the reaction will enhance or something so it's basically acting at the surface adsorption adsorption mean that it's talking about the surface not absorption absorption mean when you would the when you use the word b here so this B mean absorption inside, but adsorption means surface. Corrosion, this is also surface uh, phenomena. And adherence, these, these are the key areas that we uh, study. XPS basically work on the photoelectric effect and we explain in the PowerPoint slide that basically when we bombard X-ray, this is the uh, energy of the X-ray and we just uh, make, uh, uh, look here, this is the binding energy, this is the work function. Uh, we know binding energy in the work function is the minimum energy required to remove electron. So when we subtract this uh, total energy, this work function is also energy. This energy plus this energy from the photon. So that difference give the electron kinetic energy, right? If you make these two equal, so then the electron cannot eject. But this photon energy must be higher than the sum of these two energy. Then you can give energy to the uh, electron and electron can eject and detect by the detector and it can give you, can give you the spectrum. So once we get the electrons, 
दोज इलेक्ट्रॉन है स्पेसिफिक इनर्जी द बाइंडिंग इनर्जी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट वी जस्ट डिफाइन दैट इट इज फ्रॉम विच एलिमेंट इट इज फ्रॉम द सोडियम और इट इज फ्रॉम द अदर थिंग राइट दिस इज बेसिकली द स्पेक्ट्रम इज आई एक्सप्लेन दिस स्पेक्ट्रम बेसिकली इफ यू लुक हियर इट इज द प्लाट बिटवीन द बाइंडिंग इनर्जी एंड नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डिटेक्ट इट इज आई एक्सप्लेन इट वीन वी बार द एक्स रे सो वी डिट इजेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट द काइनेटिक इनर्जी इन इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन पीक मेक इट लुक हेयर द काइनेटिक इनर्जी इन इंटेंसिटीज इंटेंसिटीज बेसिकली मीन्स इफ यू इजेक्ट मोर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन यू विल हैव मोर इंटेंसिटी इफ यू इजेक्ट लेस नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इट विल हैव लेस इंटेंसिटी सो दिस इंटेंसिटी इज बेसिकली वट आई अंडरस्टैंड आई टॉकिंग अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ एटम प्रेजेंट If you have more number of atoms, so there will be more ejections. Less number, so I think less, right? So this peak make it able to identify and quantify all surface element except hydrogen. I will make video why we cannot detect hydrogen. Look here, we identify here, identify the key thing here, and quantify. Quantify basically means that how many. Uh, Uh, elements are there so identify that with the titanium zinc oxide and with the uh, sodium and quantify quantify mean we give us quantity that how many are there okay this is hydrogen this is a very comprehensive uh, characterization technique but uh, basically we can find number of elements number of elements mean elemental composition that whether at the surface how many elements are there hydrogen nitrogen whatever carbon this this one this purpose we can also do with the help of edx i will make video comparison between xps and edx and you will see what are the differences the concentration empirical formula you can find what is empirical formula in chemistry oxidation state you can find the, here like this is how the oxidation state mean the basic oxidation state basically shows the ions uh, there oxidation state is minus 1 plus 2 chemical state in electronic state surface chemical composition you see here this all we can uh, uh, find now look here if you look into the electronic configuration so the electronic configuration is basically uh, uh, something like the i also show this here so this one is basically the core and this one is the outermost shell electron right so basically uh, when the x ray uh, when the x ray uh, 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 the remove uh, these electron so uh, the x ray uh, the, the the graph show us that what kind of element is this for example this may be sodium i don't know exactly this is 11 sodium may be 11 so this is sodium here for example and uh, for example if we we get uh, this number of electrons if we detect this number of electrons so we can say that uh, there is uh, sodium here you see then the, the system can understand that sodium the electronic configuration of sodium is this right so the number of detected electron in each peak basically is directly related to the amount of element exists look here f f for example if we get uh, more core uh, uh, electrons here this means that there are large number of element exist in the sample here i explain here if you for example if you keep one uh, a sodium atom so you will uh, eject this number of electron only but if you have more number of atoms there so we will get a uh, high peak right we will i get high peak so this was all about uh, uh, the xps and uh, the information uh, we get uh, from xps thanks for watching